Defense hasn't really evolved, especially when it comes to one-on-one -on -one play in such a long time. So right here, we're going to dive in deep to some defensive strategies. You can see here, Drew Holiday is a very physical de defender. He's going to push his guy into the big, but then also still be aware off the ball as well. You can see also on this next play, Kyrie Irving is obviously quick. He uses his length, his size. He takes a step back and really guards. And then you can see him on this play really pushing the offensive player to the basket while also using his hands to get the steal. Here he pushes the offensive player to the help. And knowing that he could crowd space, he gets the turn over there. He's extremely impressive when it comes to guarding people that are bigger than him, understanding the personnel of the offensive player. And he's not just trying to stay on this man to stop him from scoring. He is trying to destroy his opponent and get him distracted. If you're able to put pressure on offensive players, they will not be able to run offense. And they're also thinking about how they could get their teams into sets. So that's an excellent opportunity to really put pressure on people. This is an extremely impressive rep here. He's guarding against a big. He's really putting pressure. As a, as a uh, smaller player, you're really able to be more physical, foul, be aggressive. And Drew always takes full advantage of that. Even here, he knows that Julius Randle has to go back up with the left hand and get to easy steal. What I find really impressive about Drew, Derek White, and other really great defensive players is their ability to get over screens. When you don't do this or you don't uh, commit to playing hard, it really shows if you don't get back to the offensive player after a screen. And right here, he knows that's a switch situation. He baits him into a steal. Another reason he's so elite is his hands. He's always ready to get a steal. One thing I absolutely love about these defensive players is their dog and their energy. If you want an opportunity to play pro and you're not the most skilled, this is where you really have to make your case. You can see Derek White coming from a Division II school is filled with energy, intelligence, and most importantly, dog. You can see him here. Austin Reeves gets by. He doesn't just settle getting hit by a screen. He keeps going. And then on this play right here, Jalen Blarnson is clearly ahead of him. He doesn't stop going, and he commits to getting the steal. When you, as a player, if you make these type of plays, even if you're not the most heralded recruit, if you're not an all-star, this will make you beloved by your teammates. Something that's not appreciated enough is the off-ball defense, especially in today's game with all the spacing. If you're able to plug up some of those holes or be a really great thinker of the game, you're going to be able to make some plays. And you see Derek right there able to get the block, and that wasn't his guy. Your, your job isn't just to stop your man. Your job is to impact defensively any way you can. And you can see here he's trailing. He sees that the pitchback is coming. He anticipates the pass and gets in front. But then he doesn't just do that. He gets in the right place to get this block here. Very impressive stuff by him. When you watch a guy like Derek White, please watch when the ball is not in the hands of his opponent. He is constantly moving on the site of the pass. When the ball is in the air, he is constantly moving. Even here, he's already anticipating the pass before it gets there. This comes from watching a lot of film. This comes from playing hard and being locked in defensively and picking up different tools and of the trade. And this is just knowing his opponent here. He stops the initial man, so no, Julius Randle is going back to his left hand. And as soon as he sees that, he attacks the ball and gets the steal. That's why it's important to watch film. Then you also see a guy like OG Ananobi. If you are trying to be a guy who makes the league, if you're a wing, this is the easiest way to make it. Being a 3 and D guy, getting easy opportunities to score, this is the guys that are going to get paid a bag and that are super needed in today's game. Yes, he could, uh, you know, play defense, but his ability to also stretch the floor, shoot the ball with great mechanics is up there. As long as you can shoot the ball 35% plus and be a threat, that's all that matters. That ability to hit a wide open shot from three or the ability to be able to defend at a high level like he can 
allows him to get more and more privileges over time. If you're a guy who's not getting very much minutes, start on this end. Start with your defense. Understand the game and when to help and how to help. Because then over time, your coach is going to trust you more. You're going to get more leeway. And you're going to be able to make a really big impact. Being a court spacer as a 6'7", 6'8", guy, even a 6'5", guy is going to give you really good opportunities, especially if you're not a guy who's going to be a primary ball handler. If these guys don't wake up and somehow become great defenders, if you're getting off-ball steals like OG Ananobi is in this possession, this comes from understanding the game and tendencies. But to be a truly great all-around defender, you need to work on your body. Make sure you're in great shape. Your body is strong and physical. And even having that ability to react instantly is huge. And that comes from reps of you actually trying hard defensively. If you can't just normally... Uh, snap a finger and become a great defender it takes reps just like offensive players need reps to make sure that they have uh really good shooting performances but what i love about og is he's a shooter shoot three and d guy plus he's also able to have sets ran for him knock down mid-range jump shots he's able to also when he has things going get to the basket show his athleticism uh, and he's really worked on developing his game this far. But when you're able to do the little things as a basketball player, the coach trusts you more. And then you get to do the things you really want to do. And you get to expand your role. But you need something special that you could do without always having the ball in your hands, especially if you're not going to be a superstar. If you guys want to learn more about us, follow us on TikTok. Please subscribe follow, ask questions. We are here to help you out as much as possible. We have a ton of basketball services. Take out our website.